Thailand's army says it may use force to remove anti-government demonstrators from their camp in central Bangkok if the protesters are still there by the end of Wednesday. The army has also threatened to cut off power and supplies as well as close off entrances to the protest site if the red shirts don't leave by midnight local time. <laughs> We will begin to enforce the law in full scale to put pressure on the protesters from midnight. This is our utmost attempt to avoid using force and to prevent loss of life and property. The protesters, though, remain defiant, with thousands refusing to leave the sprawling site in the capital's upmarket shopping district. We keep fighting on with non-violence. It will be unjust if the Prime Minister will send soldiers to kill people who only have their bare hands like us. The government tried to bring the five-week-long protests to an end by offering to hold an election in mid-November. The protesters accepted the offer, but are now making a new demand, that the country's deputy prime minister be charged over violent clashes in April, which left 25 people dead and hundreds more injured. The red shirts say the government's threats won't end their demonstration. It would be too hard-lined if they cracked down on us now. They don't have any sympathy with us red shirts. They should compromise more. As the ongoing protests hurt the Thai economy, the authorities are faced with the dilemma of how to remove the red shirts, who include women and children. Kirsty Bassett, Reuters.